Yeah, I think we're all pretty, like, no nerves at all going into matches. Uh, we just have, like, slight issues with going off to cold starts and then kind of regaining. I wouldn't necessarily call it nerves or maybe confidence is the right word, just uh, playing the game how we know we uh, we can instead of, like, trying to play catch up is kind of what it feels like at times. So we just have to focus on that, uh, hopefully get off to good starts against the guard, and we'll just be flowing the whole way. Yeah, so rematches, especially the third one, um, I would say there's a lot of mind games between like IGLs and even player to player, just because you're, you're very familiar with each other's style. Uh, you understand the team's tendencies and you've played it firsthand twice. So going into the third rematch, I think a lot of that is going to come down to like, okay, you know that I know, so I'm going to do this. Or, you know, you kind of play that meta game in the, in the match. Um, and that's where it's very exciting to watch because you see a lot of these like creative plays. You're like, oh, why did he make this push here? And it's a lot of these like anti-strats or just familiar familiarities with the players that you know you can kind of exploit these gaps i think it's just more motivation for me and also for everyone else let's do it nah, we have nothing to do in the next six months if we lose so. me i feel um i think i feel fine under pressure i think i play better under pressure but i said that everyone else like i mean i think they play better under pressure too but to be honest no i think we just trying to play at our own level like while i'm trying to play our own game because I think our game is better than everyone else's, but yeah. Um, I expect them to have improved slightly on their mid-round and stuff. I think playing against us, it'll probably expose a lot of gaps on their side. And I'm assuming they reviewed it, so, you know, I'm assuming that they, they got better in those things. Um, they are very poppy, very execute heavy. Um, so, you know, it's just like being able to understand what, what they're going to do and when and being able to prevent it. Uh, you know, it's also a plan that you have to kind of execute. No, uh, I think playing them recently, uh, it, it, it it helps us more than it helps them because we kind of know what they like to do. And usually when you beat a team, you like to do the things that you did to beat them the first time, you know, kind of make them adjust to like, you, you make them prove they, they can adjust to like what you did. Uh, so I feel confident that we can make all the proper adjustments and, you know, won't lose the same way, at least if we do lose. So um, I would say G2 is a like very individually skilled team they have a lot of uh pop-off potential on that roster with like oxy whippy shazam all those players are very solid so any of them can kind of take over a game and we saw that last week with Sh uh, shaz dropping like 26 kills with like five deaths or whatever um so obviously one factor is their uh high firepower uh very good individual players um but not only that they have very good set plays um i think that team kind of thrives off the set plays uh, they, they're not very good in the mid round, in my opinion. So as long as we can stuff those early fast executes, we should be able to beat them as the game progresses. I think their experience, they've been playing together for a pretty long time, the entire team. But I don't know, I think that's it. Not really scared. I think I just need to, to think less, run it down more. That's it. Have more fun. But yeah, it's always an exciting matchup because I think we're both very fundamental teams um i think shazam and dapper etc always try to make the right play um you know there's a lot of players and challengers that just take a lot of risks and they just hope that it works out um but i think they have a good mix of people who take risks and also people who play very proper um and i think that makes a pretty good team good luck it's always a fun game against you guys but i'm sorry you're running to here uh message to g2 good luck should be a great match rematch number three we're gonna 2-0 again so good luck uh, good luck, G2. We flew out to do dominate you guys, and I'm not taking a six-month break, so good luck.